So propagating pothos is really quite simple. Um, there's a lot of videos out there on how to propagate pothos, but I was going to do it anyway, so I figure might as well share it. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this long vine um, right below a node, and I'm kind of feeling like right here might be good. Oh, this is going to be hard. So sorry. So sorry. And so now I've got this beautiful, long pothos vine. So if you wanted to do a vine, you could simply just put this end in the water um, or in soil and you'll get some roots. But that's not what we're going to do. What we're going to do is take this long vine and create a new plant. So if you look at these little nodes here, that's where the new roots are going to come. So I'm going to cut each leaf right at the end of their nodes. So like right in between there. And each leaf is going to root out and create a new epiprenum plant. So I've already treated my scissors with some alcohol before I made my initial cut. And what I'm going to do is just simply cut each leaf with maintaining this little central node. If you can see that. And you just go down, cut each one, and now what you'll be left with is this little leaf with a little node. And that's what you're going to plant in the water or, um, in this case, in water and in soil. Ta-da! Unfortunately, this little end here, probably not, well, we probably, well, I don't know, probably not going to do much. I mean, maybe I could just put it in like that in some water and see, see if we can get something. Maybe we'll try it. Let's try that. So there we have it. Now let's get these um, potted up and put in some water. Okay, super simple. Obviously, node side down. I'm going to stick them in this dirt. Okay, we'll just start with that. Let's see if we can't put some in this little, I've been dying to use these little vases. Oh, isn't that perfect? That way, I don't have to worry about the leaves falling in. Put this guy in there. Cute. That will work well. Shove them all in there. Okay, well I'm going to put some water in this little jar. I'm going to set them both on my windowsill. 
and we're going to see which method is more successful or maybe just which method I prefer. That's actually really cute. <laughs> We are at a two-week check-in and um, I'm happy to report, look at roots already. I'm probably going to change the water here, but um, I don't know that I want these water roots to get real big. I think that makes it for a harder transition, so some of those I think I will move over here pretty soon. But the other big question is going to be how we're doing over here on the soil side of things. Let's see. Oh, it's in there pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's just pull one out and see what's happening. Gentle, gentle. Oh, we're stuck on each other. No big deal. <gasps> roots. See that? We have roots. Oh, I love this plant. How easy is that? After two weeks, we have positive roots. Now, since I'm going to grow this and uh, most likely give it away to a friend, I want a nice, full pothos. So I'm going to start by I'm going to start planting some of these one these water uh, ones that have rooted. Let's find a spot for you. I got this little guy. Look at that, write out those two nodes that, um, oops, write out those two nodes. And then we'll let these um, grow out a little bit more in the water. There we go. It's that simple. There you have it. Pothos propagation. Now for more plant propagation, subscribe to my channel and uh, check out this playlist of all the other props that I've been working on. Um, also, you can visit my website, suburbansill.com, and follow along on Instagram for um, daily updates. Thanks for stopping by, and we will see you next time.